We're going to be doing algebra, and we're doing classifying a system of equations. This is super cool. Um, the idea is they're different. These are all equations of lines, right? Because they look like y equals m x plus b. So you have m x plus. This is the m, and this is the b, and the m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. Now, I'm assuming you've learned all this stuff before, but I'm just giving you a quick review. Um, and the idea is that slopes tell you how tilty a line is, right? So that slope, that's one slope, that's a different, that's a smaller slope, that's a zero slope, this is a negative slope. So two lines with, this, with different slopes have to cross. If the slopes are different, it doesn't matter. There's no escaping. They will cross. The only times lines won't cross is if they're parallel, which means they have the same slope. But if they're parallel, then they can either not cross like this, or they might actually be the same line. So the moral is, if the slopes are different, they cross. If the slopes are not different, then there's either infinitely many solutions or zero solutions. Right? So in this case, the slopes are different, so they cross. So there's exactly one solution where they cross. OK, in this case, what do you tell? The slopes, 1 fourth and 1 half. The slopes are different, right? So there's some, you know, this will have a slope like this. This will have a slightly steeper slope. And they'll cross at some point. And so there'll be exactly one solution where they cross. Ah, this is interesting, right? They both have the same slope, which means they're parallel. But not only are they parallel, they have the same y-intercepts, or they're the same exact line. So they don't just cross at one point. They cross at all the points. So there's infinitely many solutions. How about here? Same type of situation. We've got slope of 7, slope of 7. So they're the same slope. But not only are they the same slope, they have the exact same up and downness, right? The y-intercept. So they're exactly the same line. So there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, how about here? Oh, these are easy. When, they're, when they don't match, it's easy. Negative four, one sixth. They don't match. This slope is like downward because it's negative. This slope is, this one sixth slope is like very shallow like this. But regardless, they cross at some point, one exact point. So there is one solution. Okay, how about this? This is cool. We haven't seen this one before. We've got a slope of a half, which that means they're the same, but they have different y-intercepts, which in, in, a, in essence just means they're, they're shifted up or down from each other, right? So the one-seventh might look like this, and then the two-thirds is a little bit higher, so it might look like this. They're parallel because they have the same slope, but they never touch. And so there are no solutions. Same idea. These are parallel lines because they have the same slope. They're both pretty upwards tilty because their slope is six. Um, and one has a slope of one half, uh, sorry, one has a y-intercept of one half and one has a y-intercept of one third. One third is less than one half. So that line would be like slightly below this other line. So since these are not the same, these lines are parallel lines. They're not the same line, which means they never touch, which means there are no solutions. Okay, how about this? Same idea. Same slope, both downward pointing because it's negative seven. The negative three is down more than the one half. So that one's down more. So they're parallel, both downward sloping with the same exact slope. And they never touch. So there are, what do you think? No solutions. Okay. Five sixth, five sixth, same slope. And the same up and downness or y intercept. So they're the same line. So they've got infinitely many intersections or solutions. Solutions and intersection of lines or curves or whatever. Okay. Over here, 
we've got one third and one third. So the slope is the same. They're both pretty shallow. And they're both the same y-intercept two thirds. So it's the same line twice. So there are infinitely many, many intersections. So we have infinitely many solutions. Okay, let's see if there are any different when we keep going. All right, let's just go through the numerical rules for these. Same slope. That tells us there's either gonna be no solutions if they're parallel or infinitely many solutions if they're the same line. So then the question becomes, are they the same line or not? Well, these numbers are not the same. So they're not the same line. So they're parallel. So that means there are no solutions. Okay, real quick, this is the same exact line. They're the same exact line. So there's infinitely many intersections. So infinitely many solutions. Again, same exact line. So infinitely many intersections, infinitely many solutions. These are different slopes. So the lines have to cross. One's downward sloping, the other one is upward sloping. So they have to cross at exactly one point, which is the solution. So we've got one solution. And that's lines, friends. You see lines all the time. You might see lines in a Fahrenheit versus Celsius graph. You might see lines in a distance equals rate, distance versus time graph. So you'll see lines everywhere. So it's good for you to get a sense of slopes and intersections and all that stuff. All right, I'll see you next time.